Good morning traders. Welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Uh, we had some nice moves over the week. Uh, excuse me, over the week and I hope you made some money. Uh, most of the analysis have come out uh, inch perfect and you'll see uh, as we go on with the webinar. So what I do when I do when I do what I do here every Sunday when I prepare for the webinar I check what the view was last week and how that played out and it's just amazing when you look at um, at the analysis and uh, how it actually plays out but we're, we're going to have a look at that shortly. All right, so let's let's get first things uh, first. So if you are watching this uh, on YouTube, uh, just check here on under the description of the video you will find. Uh, the timestamps. So these timestamps makes it very easy for you to follow each and every pair that you're interested in. Again, thank you very much, Harry, for doing this for me. Okay, I've not been doing this for the last two weeks, so Harry just uh, made this one for me and I just pasted it on there. Thank you very much. I have to acknowledge you for the assistance. All right, so what you do here, you can even do this uh, even to previous videos. If you're interested in the analysis. For example, if we're talking about Chief JPY, we click on Chief JPY and to take you straight to Chief JPY analysis. You can go to all the past videos and just click Chief JPY and see how we analyze and how uh, how this played out, and you'll see amazing accuracy with this strategy. Okay, so that's so those are the timestamps that you can look at. So. Um, Talking about the course now, our course is starting on the 4th of February. I think we're almost full now. I just haven't checked how many spaces left, but it's very few. So this is the last course at 529 US dollars. From the next course in March, it's going to be 629 US dollars uh, for, for the course. It's not much of an increase compared to what you, what people are paying for, for the courses out there. So this course covers what it's, a, it's you get two years access into our uh, trading room. So this is our trading room, we use Slack, and this is very organized. So this is how it works here on Slack. I got, uh, I don't know if we had a bit of a confusion last week, I had a lot of people inquiring, uh, just uh, asking that I must invite them to the Slack group. Uh, so you get into the Slack group when you register for the course. Okay, and after the course, you will stay in this group for two years. Uh, some people have asked me, so what happens after two years? So after two years, you can either stay on as a, in the group and assist other new members, or you can stay on for a subscription fee if you are not interested in assisting others. It's a very easy deal. Okay, so the reason why I give two years is because I don't expect anybody to be a pro trader, obviously depending on your experience in just a matter of two weeks. The course is two weeks, okay? So the course is two weeks, so I don't expect you to be a pro trader in just two weeks. That's why you stay in the group. Uh, in the group, what we do is daily mentorship. Uh, we have, you see here, you've got the, tab, the channel here that says daily webinars. So on this channel, what we do is uh, I put up all the recordings of the daily webinars, Monday to Thursday, uh, about uh, four hours before the Asian session starts, we have a daily webinar session where we go through the pairs in detail. So you can, what we go through here is overview. Uh, we don't even go in detail. So here we'll be fine tuning the analysis uh, that we did on the Sunday, how to enter, where to put in the stop loss, and what to look out for. So that's what we do in detail. We also do uh, once a week a historical chat, a chat from historical data all the way to the lowest time frame, uh, doing analysis on it. We give members opportunities to actually present if they're interested, if they can, uh, so we can give them guidance onto their analysis. So we've got over 300, as you can see there, over 330 traders in the room, all looking at the charts with the same eyes. That is uh, the Elliott Wave strategy. And for the rest of the channels, you can see that each and every pair has got its own channel, Audi CAD. You can see all members will be discussing Audi CAD, uh, will be in that channel. So everything is organized, it's not cluttered. So if you've got an analysis on any pair, you just go and click on any of the channels and see what how other members are looking at these pairs. Okay, also got a special channel where only, uh, so before we talk about that special channel, uh, on all these, uh, on, on all these uh, 
pairs on the channels, what I do also, I put in my view, either daily, four hour, uh, and weekly, uh, and update it uh, if and when required. So you'll find all my, my analysis on the pairs uh, pinned in the channel so you can compare with mine and what other members are looking at. And you'll find that most of the time it's uh, identical because uh, we're trading uh, the same strategy, we've learned the same way. All right, and then we've got, and then we've got, uh, okay, let's just go back to Slack again. Oh, this is just uh, one of the charts. So if you can see here, this was a pound JPY in June. We were focusing this down move that played out and this up move, and now we're coming down with this move. So this was in June. Okay, I didn't mean to open this, but it just popped up. So you can see that we wanted this X. If you go look at your charts, you'll see that we made this move to the upside and then we made this move all the way down. And now we are busy with that move to the upside. Okay, uh, so that's how it works. And just uh, lastly, we've got a trade setup channel. So there's a difference between what we're doing here on Sundays, we are doing forecasting. Forecasting is easy. So trade setups is when you've got a trade that is uh, near, almost ready or ready to be taken. Uh, where's my trade setups channel? So this is a special channel where only I post, nobody else posts on this uh, channel. This is the channel. And you will see the number of uh, setups that we've posted. Uh, this was a uh, pound in New Zealand. You can see how, we, uh, how that one plays out whenever it is ready. And uh, Euro, this is what we were anticipating. You can see now Euro has made this move, has actually made this big move to the downside and now we've got this back. We're gonna go up here. I don't wanna do analysis now, I'm just doing a recap and showing you what we do on Slack and how this can assist you. Okay, so we'll do the analysis in a bit. So this is how we, we post the, I post the setups. Okay, and you'll see this Audi JPY now. Also, you'll see how that is playing out. So it has also made a, another corrective structure here and it is pushing up higher. These are the setups for the past week, okay? I don't post every day. Members know that we don't post every day. We post when there is something to trade. So this is uh, Chief JPY. This one is still crawling down to, uh, to the downside, still not played out yet. As you can see, there is no risk and risk to reward. So this is not a setup that is ready to be taken yet. So I still need to wait for it to play out. So these are the number of setups for this past week. And this is now Audi US dollar. So Audi US dollar is amazing. Even though this now has hit the stop loss here, it has hit the stop loss, but it has now pushed up higher again. I'll show you how to trade this. And if you look at last week's analysis, I showed exactly that this is gonna be take a little bit of time and you need to wait for the confirmation for this to play out. It did not it did not confirm here and now you've got a clear pulsing move. You'll see current structure. If you look at your current chart, um, is the chart okay now? Sorry, is the sound okay now? I see some members are complaining about sound. Is the sound okay now? Everybody happy? Please confirm. All right, thank you. All right, so you'll see where as you do analysis. I don't want to start analysis right now. So watch last week, you'll see that Audi US dollar, this correction has played out exactly as we anticipated it to play. So these are the number of setups, quite a number of them. What was this one? This was also on Wednesday. Uh, Audi in New Zealand expected it to drop some more, okay, into the blue box, even though it pushed up quite a bit further. Uh, before dropping, um, we'll, we'll update this. And let me not go through all of this, but this is how we post the setup in in the in in the group. All right, so that's how it works. Right, so let's get started, guys. So the course is going to be from the 4th of February. This is the last course at 529 US dollars. From March, the price is going to be uh, 629 US dollars. Still underpriced compared to the value that you get, all right, from the course. All right, so let's get started. I uh, don't know if I missed anything. I think we've got everything. So let's start with uh, the cryptocurrencies as we've been doing for the last three weeks. We'll start with Bitcoin daily. Uh, 
<laughs> very funny Ari. <laughs> right so daily bitcoin you need to go watch uh the previous uh three videos for this year but that's what we've been talking about the whole year on bitcoin you've got a move up you've got a pullback you've got a corrective structure uh, not like that let me do it cleanly let me not rush it this is what you have we need to keep doing this because the cryptocurrencies are starting to be very interesting now. Now, this is the pullback that you have on Bitcoin. Let's do it with a different color this week. So this is what you have, a pullback in three waves, a pullback in the impulse. And now what you're looking for is this move in red. I'm going to put it up in red. It's a three wave move. Why is it? Three? Why am I saying three? It's because it's one, this uh, running flat there. And then we've got this three wave move. This is what we've been talking about. I've been saying that around this level here, we're going to get a reversal. But at this point here, you are getting a continuation pattern, which means after this continuation pattern, you're going to have last move to the downside and you're going to have this blue move completing here. Okay, so if I had to draw this cleanly here, I would draw this one here so that it is not confusing for you. So you can see what we're looking at. So what is happening here, I've indicated here. I just don't want to draw it here because it's going to have look very skewed. I've been showing this for the last couple of weeks. You can have a look at that. So now what are we going to expect from there? From there, we're going to expect the last move down. Okay, we're going to expect the last move down, not to zero, but as close as possible to zero because we still have quite a bit of... Uh, uh, downside to go and then only then can we expect that uh, the cryptos can rise with the same impulse that they were rising in with prior to 2018 okay so this is the move so what will this do it will be a very clear if we have to put in the labelings w the x so Guys, please note here, I've indicated a running flat because of the strong move. It does not have to be a running flat. You will see with the pound pair where we expected a running flat, but it actually looks like it's going to make an expanding flat. So these can even be an expanding flat and come and reverse here. There is that possibility. Let's show that just so you can see. There is that possibility. That is the second alternative where you can get an expanding flat. All right. You can get an expanding flat like that and then it comes back and then it goes so unfortunately a running flat will not give you a warning and if it start breaking here don't expect it to go all the way it will just break and come back so you will have to wait for signs of reversal along this move all right so let's go to the four hour and look at this piece here let's look at this piece that we've been looking at also for the last three weeks it's interesting how that play that is playing out. Very interesting. This large piece. Remember, we want we um, I'm looking at a continuation pattern uh, towards the end there. And look at what I mean by interesting. So when we came back on the first on the in our first webinar of the year, this is what we had. Remember the first webinar of the year was on the 14th of this month. And this is what we had. We had this structure. Let me draw it in yellow. I prefer yellow. We had this structure, corrective structure. It's a three-wave structure. Beautiful. One, two, three. It was clear. I said we, we're going to come down. Okay. That was the first webinar. Second webinar, that was last week. You had this structure I showed you. You had a beautiful structure. One, two, three. I told you it's going to come down. Now, this is the third webinar of the year. What do you have again? Let me draw it in yellow again. One, two, three. Again, fractals, identical structure. Okay? Identical structures. It's happening again. So expect the same thing this week again. Expect a drop because we have been expecting this to come and retest this low here. Let me just move this back out. I've been expecting Bitcoin to come and retest. That may not happen. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So you need to keep, but if you look at this structure, it's not an easy structure to trade. This is a corrective structure. I would, I would rather not trade this. As much as you know the direction, that's forecasting. Sometimes we, we forecast when we know the direction so that we can anticipate the tradable moves. This is not a tradable move. 
that's a corrective structure. You want to trade moves like this. You want to trade moves like this, not 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 this. So what is going to happen in the next couple of days? In the next couple of days, this is a corrective structure that is incomplete. Okay, internally here you could be getting a W X Y. Possibly this becomes one structure X Z. Last move to the downside. Can retest or not retest? It doesn't matter. But you're going to expect a move to come and retest the high here. Okay, and then we're going to get that last drop that I was talking about. Now, this one could be the one that takes us all the way down as close as possible to zero where we want before we resume the move higher. So now, if you want to trade this, you want if you want to trade and you want short-term trades, rather wait for this to break out of this corrective structure because then you will get this pulsing move, which is what you want. Okay, you want to trade the pulsing move. I don't know if this is clear enough. If I should clean it up a bit so you can see. The reason why I'm combining this is because uh, this looks a little bit too small compared to this. So this could be a WXY structure altogether combination. Okay, so that's what you're going to be looking at on Bitcoin. Look for a drop in the next couple of sessions. And you can wait for this to break out of the structure. Up and then down. Okay. Let's watch here. See if we've got any divergence there. Yes, it is diverging. All right, so at some point, you will get this pushing high. But that doesn't mean it's going to go from there. Okay? But you can trade it all the way up here. Move your stop to break even there. All right. So that's how the cryptos look. Now, Litecoin. Litecoin, if you look last week, this is what I said. I said this is going to drop, and we're going to have this one pushing a little bit higher. Okay, I'm not lying. You've got proof. You can just go watch last week's video. Go and click on Litecoin. Uh, somebody's saying something. Does it match 88% FIB retracement? I have not checked the FIB, the 88. Uh, Luca, you can, you can check that. You can check that for me. All right. So this drop and this upside we forecasted. it. So now this looks like the whole corrective structure now on uh, Litecoin. So this could now be dropping. If you get an pulsing move here for downside, you can take this one. Okay, let's just check here. On Bitcoin, we're also expecting downside. So we said on Litecoin, this can retest this and make this as a running flat. Okay, so we'll track this together. Look at the correlation. You've got one, two, three up, one, two, three down, one, two, three up. This is a corrective structure. If we break down here, let me make it bigger so you can see clearly. If we break down here, get a corrective structure here, you'll be coming down all the way. Minimum check what happens when you get to that level. It can even get to the next level. Okay, we'll track this one together with Bitcoin because here you've got a clear one, two, three, W, X, Y flat correction. So there's a difference between an ABC and a W, X, Y flat correction. But that's part of what we do in the course. Right, so that's Litecoin. Uh, easy. If you're looking for a trade, that trend line. Remember, we don't trade trend lines. I will show you a good example of why trend lines uh, are, are, are okay. I don't want to. I don't want to say insignificant. Uh, we don't necessarily trade trend lines. You'll see when we go to euro US dollars, a uh, euro US dollar, why trend lines are not as important. Right. So that's Litecoin, uh, Ethereum, Ethereum, similar. We also expected this to drop from here. I actually wanted this to make a structure like this. This was one, this was making this corrective structure. I thought this was gonna make one here and come back again before it comes down. Okay, but that's that's okay, it's a corrective structure anyway. So you've got this one. If you start getting another corrective structure here, like I said, this is not tradable. So this one is starting to come down with what looks like a V pattern. Okay, when this comes out here, we're gonna expect this to Breakout. So please note, a V pattern is not is not something that you find in the Elliott wave theory. Okay, Elliott did not talk about a V pattern. A V pattern is just something that we have uh, uh, identified in our group. Okay, 
Okay, it's not even a new structure, it's uh, actually part, if you look at it, you'll see that it follows the Elliott wave sequence. So you cannot take credit for it. It's just that we like to call it the V pattern to clearly identify it when that pattern uh, happens. Okay, so that's what we'll, we'll look at. Will be like a channel slowing down like that. When you get it usually comes with divergence on the RSI on the or the MACD, like that, and then you'll expect at least a move that can even come and retest the top there. Okay, so let's see how that goes. So that that will definitely come in the next couple of sessions. Right, you already have the divergence. This is divergence. This is divergence. Note that this is not divergence. What is div what is not divergence? This is not divergence. Price and the RSI are doing the same thing. So this is not divergence. Divergence started here. Started here. A bit of education for you. All right. So that is uh, Ethereum. Uh, Ripple. Ripple also trending lower. Let me show you again the higher time frame on Ripple because it's very clear. Let's see if we can see it clearly on the eight hour. Now we need to go to the daily. I've been showing this, I think, for the last six months. The same structure that is playing out on Ripple. So Ripple, same with the other cryptocurrencies, has made a sharp move up until the end of 2018. Let me get a yellow. There was the sharp move and has been correcting since. Now the correction starts with a three-wave pullback, three-wave correction, three-wave uh, correction. And now we are looking for this to make another three-wave correction. That is why we are looking at the cryptos now. So Ripple is quite clear in terms of the structure that we're looking on the rest of the cryptos. We're looking for them to keep crawling lower to complete these last structures, okay? So we want Ripple to push higher, not like that, to come and retest the top at least of this. Now, this is becomes a, a very simple structure, W running flat, X, Y, three waves there, X. And then we, we're gonna have the last move in three waves, expectation, S a Z, and then we're gonna have a move to the upside. So this is clear on Ripple that the structure here will break to the upside. This structure. Okay, let's let's remove everything here and just show that structure to complete the last move, to complete that last corrective structure. This can test the low here and bounce. Uh, thanks, Ali. I want me to look at the log scale. Okay, we'll look at that next time. Right, so this is this is, this is XRP. And then we'll look for this one to drop and then all the way up. Okay, very clear. So what are you looking at now? This is, this is just gonna keep crawling. You don't wanna sell this. You only want to buy this short move if you are interested in buying Ripple to come and retest the top here. I don't expect this to go all the way. I don't think it's ready yet. I still want this one before it goes. But we'll keep tracking it. The immediate move is this one. Keep crawling lower. Let's go to the four hour and see if we've got any trade here for downside. Okay, so there is not much of a trade to the upside here. So this can do that, gives you this, keep scrolling lower with the other cryptocurrencies. And that's what a ripple looks like. All right, uh, so now let's go to the indices, uh, S&P 500. We're gonna go to the major pairs shortly. So S&P 500, I showed you why I was expecting new highs. And I have been talking about that even when we're still coming down with this move. Somebody, I think somebody uh, commented on the video last week, uh, if I would change my mind, if uh, S&P 500 risk tested a certain level, 
I always change my mind. <laughs> I always change my mind if there is a need to, but I stick to the sequence. The only time I'll change my mind is if I'm wrong, obviously. If I am wrong, and normally, and like I said last week, it's not that I'm trying, it's, it's not about being right or wrong, it's about making money. Sometimes you're gonna make mistakes. So if you are wrong, I mean, if, if you're wrong, that's okay. But you must, be able, you must be able to understand what mistakes you made, or if it is a drawback on the strategy itself, which is possible, okay. Right, so let's let's keep going now. Um, so now Simon is asking, I don't know if Simon is in our group. If you're in our group, Simon, those, those are the questions that we can ask in the group. So where will the S&P 500 correction stop? So now you need to clarify, okay, Simon asked me in the group. So you need to clarify which correction you are referring to because there is a number of corrections here that we're looking at. So now let's look at the S&P 500. You've got this move here all the way up to this level. And as I showed last week, go and watch last week's video and you will see that we are looking at this as an expanding flat, okay? As an expanding flat, and we're looking for this one to take us to all the way to wave five. We were looking to go to wave five, but we're not, even, we're not there yet. So what we do is we trade it bit by bit whenever you get corrective structures. Let's talk about, send me a text. Let's not discuss this during the weekly video, Simon. Okay, or uh, email, then we'll address that, okay? Not, not during these videos. All right, so let's, that's what we're gonna be looking at, corrective structure, and we're looking for upside. Right, easy. Now, what do you have now? One correction could come down here and push higher. So we are looking upside on the cryptos, uh, on the indices. That is S&P 500. I've given you a detail. Maybe let me just remind some of you why we look at it like that. So what I said last week is that you are only seeing the front end of a very detailed analysis. So in the daily, So this is what you don't normally see, this detailed analysis. This is wave four. This is wave four, that is why we're expecting, we're expecting this to push higher for the wave five. Let me just fix this. So why ended here? Okay, like I said, it's not about proving people wrong, but you, uh, uh, when this was coming down, a lot of people were panicking, saying the indices are crashing, okay? But I've always said from here, we're expecting this to push higher, okay? All right, so it's, it's part of trading. You're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some, but you need to make sure that you win more than you lose. Especially when it comes to forecasting, you must at least get 95% of your forecast right. You can get the setups wrong, 70, uh, you can get the set, uh, trade setups right, 65, 70%, but your focus must be 95% right. You must know the direction of the market. The timing should be the only thing where you really make mistakes. Right, so that's what you're looking at. That's because this is a wave five. This is the whole structure. If you wanna take a snapshot, that is your whole structure. So excuse the clutter here, but look at the blue, one, two, three, four, five. If you look internally here, you've got one, two, three, four, five. I showed this one in detail last week. I'm rushing it now because it's already I've already done it. So go and watch it. Uh, watch last week's video. Just go click on S&P 500. You'll see that's exactly why we're looking for a push higher. All right, uh, that's S&P 500, and the Nasdaq should be similar. Let's look at the Nasdaq also pushing higher. Only difference between the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 is that there is no relationship between this and this structure. So the NASDAQ has made now a one running flat there, two, three wave structure clear. Now it is making another one, two, three, four, five. At some point here, you need to get a corrective structure. Whether this is the first wave of the wave five, that's gonna make one, two, three, four, five, 
either with a diagonal, whichever way it happens, it, it, it really doesn't matter. So that's what the NASDAQ has done. It has gone up in five waves after this corrective structure, which we also forecasted that when it comes down here to this level, it's gonna push higher. Look at the videos uh, in December towards the end, or even before that, we have been looking for this to push back up after the correction is done. All right. That is uh, the NASDAQ, uh, if I go to the four hour. It's a little bit tricky to actually buy it now, wait for a corrective structure. It has gone up in five waves. So you need to wait for a deeper correction tip structure that corrects that whole move. Okay. So watch out, if you push up here and here you don't make a new high, it will be divergence, that will be wave five. You will wait for it to I'll give you a corrective structure to enter some more. That is the NASDAQ. That's still the NASDAQ. The Dow, similar. S&P 500, Dow, and the NASDAQ are all similar structures. Let's look at the Dow. You can see that is that exactly the same structure again. Now the Dow and the S&P 500 are exactly the same structure. One, two, Three expanding flat breaks the top, breaks the low. Now you're looking for this one it has made an impulsive move. You will need to get a deeper corrective structure at some point. You don't need to rush. If you buy this one, you're gonna need to be. You need to have the capacity to wait for this to correct, even if it's gonna correct as far as the 61%. You need to have that capacity to wait for it to do that, and then we'll look for it to push further up. Okay. Uh, UK 100. That is the FTSE. Stay tuned, guys, for the cross pass. There are some interesting, uh, interesting setups playing out on the cross pass. It's usually towards the end, so you're gonna need to watch towards the end. Uh, so for those that are here on the live webinar, for those that will just click on the timestamps, it's gonna be easier. But uh, watch out, guys. There's some nice setup. I think it's, uh, I don't wanna mention the pair because I'm not 100% sure, but when we get to it, we'll talk about it. All right, so this is the FTSE. c uh, We've made a passing move. This looks like a corrective structure here at the top. Not complete as yet, may come back for one. Can do this one here before it pushes up higher. Okay, with the rest of the uh, indices. So watch the move that's gonna happen here. Okay, so we are already in the blue box on this one. If I just show the blue box here, we've already reversed from the blue box. This is actually the blue box. Uh, someone was uh, sent me an email asking about the blue box. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot respond to technical questions regarding the webinar on the email. I can only show you while we are here. Right, so this is what we are looking at here. This to be a corrective structure. Don't worry, Simon, you left the videos, you will learn everything. You are in the premium group now. All right, you'll get that. So that's what you're looking at on the FTSE 100. We're already reversing here, and we're looking for this to be a corrective structure to push higher. All right. That is the FTSE, and now the Nikkei. So the Nikkei, same, you can see a clear expanding flat marked. No worries, uh, Simon, you're in safe hands. Right, uh, that is the expanding flat, same as the others, pushing up higher with an impulse, looking for a corrective structure to push higher. Okay, wait for the structure that's gonna form here. Also went up with an impulse, you need to a corrective structure and a push higher. Clear, A, B, C, simple doesn't get simpler than this. That is the, the Nikkei and the DAX. Uh, 
Uh, looking at the ducks, also you've got uh, in the blue box area. So if you want to understand where the blue box came from here, you can watch the previous videos. We've located this blue box from last year already. So we're getting a reversal here under the pulse. You need to get a corrective structure, a bit of a deeper one. Okay, like that. Okay, so that is uh, the ducks. Wait for corrective structure. I'm on the four hours, so I'm on a tradable time frame here. So wait for a corrective structure on the four hour. Uh, lastly, the nifty is lastly on the indices. The Nifty is not going impulsively, but it looks like a motive wave because this wave has got direction. We could be having this one as an ending diagonal, but it has made a move that is uh, that looks like a this uh, this is a three wave move. One two three. So this we could be going for a diagonal. If this is a diagonal here, you will expect to get a corrective structure like that. For the push higher, okay. But if you needed to go in detail of this move, you will see that we've got a pulsing move here. You'll have one. You have one, two, three move there, and looks like you're gonna drop with a bit of a move to the downside here to make this a one, a two, a three wave structure that will push this higher. Yeah. So then, if this is the set up, then this is not gonna be a diagonal, but the rationale will still be the same because either way you want this to give you a corrective structure there. Okay, so not very clear on this one. So just, uh, you can leave it for now and trade the other indices or wait for it to give you a clear setup. Lastly, some pharmaceuticals that I do for some of the Indian traders. I've, I've, there's nothing special about this stock, guys. Uh, it's just one of the uh, traders from India asked me to look at it uh, for them, and uh, I did, and it was playing out well. So since then, I've just been tracking it. It can be any stock, guys. So the wave theory applies on any market, whether it is on stocks, on uh, anything. Forex, equities, it applies on anything. So. What we have been trading here on this pair has been all these corrective structures. Every week you have been getting these corrective structures and dropping and dropping like this. So let me show you where we where this analysis stop, started on the daily. This is what happened on Sun Pharma. Sun Pharmaceutical. So this. So this is what happened. Uh, it was uh, 2017 when a trader asked me to look at this and uh, looked. I gave them a buy setup here and then we got this move. Thought it was gonna go all the way, which it didn't. What we didn't see was that it was actually making a corrective structure like this. So this is a corrective structure, three waves. So after a three wave corrective structure, it was a continuation pattern. Now we're coming down with this move. So every time, this will still go all the way down. If, if it is clearing this level with a corrective structure here, you'll expect further downside. In any case, you got all of this move right up to the top there. And we've been selling from here, these corrective structures, corrective structure, this was last week. Now it has moved up, it looks like the last one here. You would have gotten a divergence here for this to reverse here. So let's see how this plays out around this area. You need to wait for this structure to play out here. All right, so let's get into the major pairs, Forex pairs. Let's start with the Euro US dollar. Very interesting Euro US dollar. Uh, by interesting, I always mean interesting, uh, I always mean clear structures. And amazing also because it's playing out exactly as we analyzed. If you watch last week's video, what did we discuss? Let's go. What we discussed on Euro, US dollar last week. Okay, let's start where we started this year. It's only our third webinar of the year. So where did we start this year? Let's look at Euro, US dollar. For our. 
so this year we started here. We had we had the three wave move down here. So first webinar, I said you're going to get a corrective structure here, and you're gonna get a move down, drop. Last week you had this corrective structure, 21 to 25 webinar. I said you're gonna get continuation to the downside, all the way up down to this level here. I said around the trend line area. Like I said, the trend line is not the determining factor. This is what I meant by trend lines can be insignificant. All right, so we said we're gonna get a reversal around the trend line area, and this is what, what happened here. When we got to this level, I was even looking to also buy here. I was already in the buy on this one, okay? But what we could, what we can see now is that we got here now, from here, we got here. We should have exited the cell, exited the cell. I bought this year, I lost this trade. That's okay. I lost this trade. But I got this one here, right? Now you've got this one here, a pulsing move, very clear. So this is what they do when they want to push price higher. Let me just show you what, what this structure will look like when you're looking at it. Now you'll be thinking, let's cut it here. Let's see, let's, get, let's see if we can cut. Let's get the replay. I want to replay this. Doesn't want to pop up. Sorry, guys. Let me refresh this quickly. I just want to reload this. It, it's going a little bit slow. Okay. Let's clear it out a bit. I want to first finish that four hour. Look on uh, Euro US dollar so you can see. So this is what it looked like. Cut it here. Now what does what does trend line what do what do trend line traders see when this happens? I just exited my trade here because that's what we said last week. We said it's going to reverse around this area. Exited here. I was already looking for upside here. Okay. I was already in this trade here with my stop loss under the flag here. Okay. When this one dropped from here, I lost that trade. 2% gone, but I made 4% here. That's okay. that's okay. Now, when the structure does not play out as I have analyzed like it was doing here now, I wait and see what is trying to, uh, to happen because I was not expecting this move to the downside. As you've seen uh, in the last three webinars, I said this corrective structure is too small to correct the whole move that came from the top. So now when this happens, I stay, I sit and watch. And when I watched, this is what happens. We get a passing move as we have been expecting. What will trend line, trend line traders come and do now? They will come in and adjust the trend line. Now, what good is a trend line if you're gonna keep adjusting it? It means it's not the be all end of, of trading. So we've got a pulsing move now. What is the next move that we expect? We're expecting these to go and retest the top. Let's play everything. Let's just remove that. Let's remove and play it. Let's just go back to the original chart. Right, so now you've got a clear candle. Your trend lines have been adjusted. I don't use them for trading. I use them to identify the structures. Now you've got a passing move. You don't rush in. You wait for this corrective structure here. If you want to get involved, most of the US dollar pairs are setting up like this. Now you are looking for US dollar weakness in the next uh, coming sessions. Okay, so this is what you have. You are looking for this to give you a correction. So you don't rush in. Without a correction, there's no confirmation. Get the correction. Look for it to go back to the top. Right now, what structure am I looking to happen? Uh, let me go to the eight hour, it's a lot clearer. I was looking at it on the eight hour time frame now. 
So there's nothing special about the eight hour time frame. It's just that you can see the structure clearly on the eight hour time frame. So what do I have here? I've got a move up here. I'm expecting another move up here. Why am I expecting that? I'm expecting that this will make a move like this. One, two, three, running flat in red, and then that last move. So this will give me this complex B correction here. So that is your A. That is your B, and I'm expecting a passing move here in C. Okay, now if you wanted to take this further, you'll see that you'll have one. You've got a running flat there as well in green. If you understand anything about the wave theory, you'll understand this structure. So this is a whole uh, A, B, A, B, C in the lower degree. Okay, if you wanted to take it further, you can label this one A, B, C, C. Okay, you can, you can even go further and further. One, two, three. So it becomes a complex structure. Now it's not no longer complex. It looks clear. Now you just want this. You just want this correction so you can get the last move to the upside. This is what happens when you understand how the market works, how price moves. It moves in waves. And when it is this complex, it becomes exciting because it makes you think. All right, so that's what you're looking at. You're looking for a corrective structure on the euro for, for the upside. DXY, just the opposite of what we're looking at on the euro. You just want a corrective structure, but this time for downside. That's why I'm saying short term US dollar weakness in the next coming sessions for this one to come down. So the DXY, you need to get a corrective structure for downside. Right, so look at the rest of the pairs. Yes, you like it. Nothing better. I have to show you this one, the Christmas present I left you with last year. This is the big move that I said was going to come. Look at US dollar CAD. I said before we close that you're gonna get, I need to switch this on. I need to switch the labeling on. We said the big move is coming on US dollar CAD. This was on December 5th. So before the holidays, I left you with this. Now you had this one coming down here, reversed on the Z, actually not on the blue box. That's okay. Understand what's going on there, let's play it. Right, so we wanted a big move, this big move. That's what we're anticipating now. So you've got a corrective structure. Uh, we've even traded this here. We've even traded this short move to the upside. Okay, Told, uh, we, we exited this during the week, during the live webinar. So we're exiting here at this level. Okay, so now we have made a move to the downside here. Right, so this is now we're looking for this to keep going down. Okay. Remember, someone asked why are you focusing US dollar head down when uh, the US dollar pairs are going up. So, like I said, there is it's, it's not a blanket approach. We've got a special seminar which is part of the course on market correlation because almost every pair is correlated to the other. It's all about the strength of the correlation. Now, this is a beautiful trade. Now we're looking downside here. Keep selling. Whenever you get a Corrective structure. Easy. You have to like it. It's easy. You can look at the analysis, how we got to this structure and how we expected this to come down. We didn't just expect it when we got to this level. From here, when this was still making this, we expected that this was going to push higher and come back down. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven moves before it happened. Okay. So that's the power of wave theory. You can focus the number of moves ahead. All right, uh, let's look now at uh, pound, US dollar. Pound, US dollar, very interesting. So pound, US dollar last week, we expected it to push into the blue box. Now, what I showed you last week was that it does not matter what this looks like. It doesn't matter what the candles are doing. Let me cut it here. Because people get confused with this candle. Okay? People get confused with these candles. 
you see you see candles coming down here and you're thinking uh, and, and people call this uh, bearish engulfing candles and stuff like that this this was a this this looks like it was coming down even this looks like it was coming down but the structure was not going down so that's why we still expected this to push a little bit higher at least to the blue box if it was going to make a running flat it was going to reverse at the blue box but it's not making a running flat it looks like it's going to make an expanding flat now okay let's switch off here so this is the correction that we're looking at now we've got a move here we've got a correction structure we thought it was going to make a running flat it looks like it's going to make an expanding flat break the top before it comes down so that's what you're expecting so you keep buying here keep buying okay let's remove this see where we are now so we're looking for expanding flat okay break the top and come down let's see how that plays out very easy very very easy all right so that is pound looking at us dollar chief us dollar chief now with a with a us dollar pullback remember i gave you the setup here in the first webinar that we're going to push higher now you're going to get a pullback it looks like a wave four one two three four you're going to get a push up on this in this in this after this correction i'm not saying this is going to happen now remember now euro is strong so short term then we're going to have a us dollar weakness so this can be a pullback in the meantime okay so nothing to trade here until we complete the move the correction that's just to achieve Audi, Audi, let's see if I can show you what that looked like when we did the analysis last week. Um, just see here. And this was last week. Let me go to Audi. You'll see, I don't know if I can find it quickly. If I can, you'll see that how we focused to this. This is last week's video, by the way, guys. Let me just switch off here. So this was uh, last week on Audi US dollar. I want to show you how we focused the corrective structure here. There, pause. So this is last week. Here's last week. So you're going to get this corrective structure and you're going to get a push higher. Okay. That was uh, on Audi US dollar, uh, New Zealand US dollar. Let's just play this a bit. This last week's video. Okay, that was, that was New Zealand, same thing, expecting the same thing. Bit of a pullback before a push higher. Now, let's look what happened here now. Let's go back to our charts. This is exactly what happened. This is the pullback that we were referring to, that you saw on that webinar last week. Okay, I was already even trying to buy here because I, I, was, I was expecting upside, but as, uh, even when this didn't play out here, didn't confirm here, made a three-way move. Okay, now you've got a passing move. Okay, you can actually buy this here. Let down, let, you can put your stop there. You can even buy this. Okay, your stop loss may be a little bit far because that's almost 200 pips, but we're looking for upside from this one here. Right, so this is how this plays out. When you understand, when you understand what wave theory is about, and you understand the degrees, you will know the size of the corrections, understand when to enter and when not to. So this is confirmed, it's going up. You may want, this is actually an eight hour time frame, so this is not a tradable, not necessarily a tradable time frame. That's why you can see the stop loss is over 200. You wait for a corrective structure for another entry. Easy. New Zealand, same. Look at that New Zealand, it was pulling back. Exactly what I showed you in the video that it's going to pull back a little bit more, and now we've got to push up like that. Okay, expecting this to correct here and push higher. Easy. Right, uh, lastly, on the US dollar pairs, uh, US dollar ZA. 
Yes, to Lazar, on the eight hour, you're looking for this structure. You're still looking this, at this as a running flat. One, two, three. This is making a new structure. This could be an X, one, two, three, like that. So that's why last week we were looking for this one to reverse with this move. This did not go anywhere. Now it is at this level. If you get a bounce here, I know the US dollar is going to be weak in the next coming sessions, but it depends what the driver is. Okay, so the the ZAR can be strong against the dollar, and then we start. I mean, the US dollar can be strong against the ZAR, and we get the upside here. So let's watch the structure that will happen here. Overall, we'll be looking for this to make another structure like that. That will be a big corrective structure on US dollar ZAR, as we've been talking about the last couple of weeks. So the critical area is where we are right now. Look what happens here. If you get a pulse. And we're getting a reversal. Let's just check something here quickly. Uh, cannot even see divergence in that time frame. We need to go to the four hour. Still making lower lows in this degree. So you see where to look for divergence. I was not looking for. You need to know where the, di the divergence that you're looking at. You, and you have not got it at yet. This is make, still making lower lows. They're still making lower lows. No new highs. No, no new lower highs here. No new higher lows here. So no reversal as yet. So this may keep, may even break this and continue to the downside with the rest of the US dollar weakness in the coming sessions. Right, so now let's go to the pound, not the pound pass, the yen pass. Now looking at the yen pass, pound JPY. You were here last week. We had this pullback. Show you that this is still gonna push higher. We're actually looking for this to push as high as 156. Why are we looking for that? It's because of the structure. You can even take a snapshot of this. Okay. I showed when we started. When we started in the beginning, I showed that we forecasted this move here. This move and this move. Now we made this running flat. We made this running flat. One, two, three, and then down. One, two, three, down. Here you had an A, B, C move ended with a diagonal. Uh, not that. Ended with a diagonal, and now you're looking for this to push higher. You were looking for this to at least minimum retest that level around 156. That will, that should go around that area if it gets out of this structure. So continue to buy this every time it makes corrective structures. Okay, so let me just go back to the four hour. So on the four hour, this is where we were last week. We had this pullback and I showed you that this pullback doesn't mean anything. The same way this one didn't mean anything because the structure was upside. So this was actually a expanding flat and we pushed higher. This one pulled back last week, so it's going to push higher. So corrective structures, get corrective structures like this, you keep buying it. At some point here, you're going to get a deeper one. So you need to be careful with a small one. Okay, easy on pound JPY. Nothing new you have to do. You just have to, the trend is upside. You just need to get corrective structures. Buy, uh, keep buying, keep buying. When you get a bigger one, you... Uh, go can hold it for a long time, but when you buy the short one, the small ones like this, you need to exit because after that you get another one. After that you get another one. So you don't know how far the next one is going to be. It may can find you with a trade here, and it starts correcting like that. And by the time you give up, then it starts going. So that's why you want to wait for a corrective structure. US dollar JPY. US dollar JPY, you, I'll, I'll jump straight to Audi, Audi JPY from this because the structure that I want to happen here on uh, US dollar JPY has already happened on uh, Audi JPY. So you've got this last move here. 
uh, you've got this three wave move. You've got this three wave move here on Audi JPY one, two, three, up to this level. Now it looks like we're making a corrective structure here. Or this is actually okay. This is our this is our top here. So this is the orthodox high. The high is here. So we've got a three wave move here. We want this to give us a corrective structure. So this corrective structure, because of the current pullback on the US dollar, can be a double correction. W X Y. We want it to do this. We want it to do this. I'm not expecting Audi JPY to drop from here. It's not going to drop. We've got a three wave move up. We need to get a corrective structure uh, in the opposite direction and before we get to the upside. Now, understanding US dollar weakness in the next coming sessions, we understand that this may be the pullback. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to jump straight into Audi JPY. Let me just, let me bring Audi JPY. As this on the same screen here, so you can see what the expectation is here. Audi JPY on the right hand side. Okay, Audi JPY is on the left. US dollar JPY, let's put it on the right. There we go. Now you can see when we got to the top here, Audi JPY made this three wave corrective structure that I'm looking for. I'm also looking for the same, for the same three wave structure. Whether it's gonna start there or start there, it doesn't really matter, but we'll see when the structure forms. We haven't got this here on US dollar JPY yet we ha already have this on audi jpy this is already a setup you already you can already buy this one here but you need to wait for another entry point for further upside us dollar jpy expect a pullback for it to make this so this is lagging uh us dollar jpy is lagging audi jpy in terms of this structure so you want this when this is complete expect the same to happen so it's easy you just follow this from here okay Euro JPY, let's go back to one chart now. Euro JPY. You've got a corrective structure there. It's already played out. You're looking for upside. Wait for another corrective structure to push higher. Okay, you get three waves down here, you've got three waves up. This would have been a higher degree running flat, but it did not break the top, so it's not. Okay, so it means it means that this is all the correction here, and we have started a move up, a correction, and we're gonna make another move to the upside at least. So wait for this corrective structure to push it a little bit higher. That's Euro. Chief, my favorite pair, I have to show you again what I left you with last year. So let's look at Chief first. Uh, this is Chief. JPY made this corrective structure, but it looks like this is still a corrective structure. You need to watch what's gonna happen with this. If it breaks to the downside here, we're gonna make another one more down before it goes up. Now, another case here where you're gonna have to adjust the trend line from the to the, if it makes a corrective structure. So you see, it's not about the trend line, it's about the structures uh, currently forming. Right, so Chief JPY may drop slightly to come down here before we push higher. And this was the trade for last week, not last week, last year uh, on Chief JPY. Uh, again, need to put in the labelings. Chief JPY, uh, let's uh, look at that setup and what we're looking at now. So 
this was the structure on chief jpy we expected this to push a little bit higher with this structure these are powerful structures these corrective structures so if you don't master the corrections you won't master trading because the market corrects almost 70 percent of the time and trends almost of only just 20 to 30 percent so you see that is what happened it pushed higher it came down so I want to show with this what the next move is. What is the expectation with this capitulation to the bottom all the way down? Got all of that move. Now you're getting a reversal from there. You're getting this as a corrective structure. Let's see what happens here. This can either make one down or it can correct from here. So you just need to watch what's going to happen from there. Let's add some more bars here. Okay, if you get a corrective structure here, this will keep pushing higher with the euro. Right, that is achieved. We're done with the yen pass. Uh, still New Zealand. New Zealand should be similar to Audi, it has already pushed out of this corrective structure. So keep buying this. It's going to get a little bit tricky now because let's just check here. Okay, there is no divergence. So you can get in here again for another push higher. There is no sign of a reversal with this. So upside. CAD. strong CAD, so that's why you see US dollar CAD dropping. So watch out for corrective structure. So for any corrective structure on the yen pairs, you buy. Okay, push higher. Right, that's CAD. Let's look at silver and gold. Gold first. So if you look on gold, we're still looking for that triangle. We'll go to the daily just now. It has made a clear three wave correction here. Expecting this to keep pushing higher. Corrective structure, keep buying. Corrective structure, to keep buying. Go back to the daily. Show you why we're looking for upside. It's because we're now looking for this structure. You're looking for this structure to play out. Triangle here. So you're looking for this to come up here. Now that will make A, that will make B, C, D, E, and then we'll expect this. Okay? You need to one, two, three, four, five. You need to use a different color here, one, like that. All of this here came down with a pulsing move. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I can show you that. See, again, you're watching a front end of a very detailed analysis. And it's not only this thing. If you keep going back and back, you'll see that the whole historical chart is analyzed. So here you're only focusing on the last bit. Okay, so we were looking for this. Initially, this was an A, B, C. We're looking for a, for this to be a running flat. It looks like it's going to be a triangle now. So you need to do, we have this C, D, E before we go. Easy. Let's remove all of this. You're looking upside on gold. Silver, same. Pull back, now looking upside. Silver has gone up in five waves. One, two, three, four. We're looking for wave five on silver before any correction again. So it's still going to push up higher. Not like that, sorry. Push up higher, correct, and another push higher. 
but we're looking for one, two, three, four, five. So just remember, I always show the pullback as zigzag. It does not have to be a zigzag. It can even be a expanding or a regular or a running flat before it goes. Okay, so upside for now. Right, that concludes the yen pairs, silver and gold. Let's look at the pound and the euro pairs. Now, looking at the pound pairs, let's start with the pound chief. Now, pound chief, I'm looking on the daily now. Initially, I was looking at this as a single correction. That's what I said last week as well and that this was gonna go with a straight impulse all the way down to retest here. But it now looks like there is a relationship between this now because it's making a one, two, and the pulsing move. So that's making a possible expanding flat like the pound pair. So a little bit of upside to come break the top here before we get any more downside. So continuation to the upside, lower time frame on uh, pound chief uh, for the next coming sessions. But uh, this is very close to the top here. Even you can see that this one broke the low here and reversed. This one can break the top here as well and reverse. The same way the pound can break the top on its structure and reverse. That's a pound chief uh, Euro New Zealand. I said last week that is one of those almost guaranteed trades to the upside. Let's go to the four hour. There's a reason why we call lows. We've got a strategy for this almost guaranteed uh, setups. So last week we were here, you had this pullback, only this single pullback before you had this one, retesting the top here and coming down here to make this corrective structure. And then that move to the upside then happened. We're looking for this to rally into the blue box. So last week when we were here, I said, this is an almost guaranteed trade to the upside. We haven't got that wrong before. Whenever we said it is an almost guaranteed trade, it always does that. I think this is like the seventh setup in the last uh, year uh, where I give this type of setups. Now you can see we've got a pullback here, but the rest of the year, I have pound pairs are looking upside. You've seen this happen before. Doesn't mean anything. This can still push higher. Okay, so we already in. We we already took this one when we were still right here during the live webinar, okay? Because we saw this one, two, three. And now we're looking for this to rally into the blue box. Okay, almost guaranteed. When you rally into the blue box, we're gonna be expecting a reversal from there. That's pound New Zealand. Pound Audi. Also in the first webinar, I showed exactly why we want Pound Audi to push higher. I'm gonna show you again. And it's playing out. It was also spotted during the week that it is one of those guaranteed trades. It was spotted here by the members. Let me just see where it was spotted. Was it here? It was actually here, yes. That it was gonna push higher and rally into the blue box. And that is exactly what has happened from there into the blue box. Why were we looking for the Pound Audi to push higher? First webinar this year, this is what we said. Said yeah, last week, last year we have been looking at this whole structure. Let me switch off here. We looked at this whole structure as a correction and we've been labeling it. And we labeled it like this. One, two, three, four. And then we said it was a five year. Okay, not numbers corrective structure. So it is not a one, two, three, four, five, but rather a W, X, Y, X, Z, because this was a corrective structure. But we we, we all we had a concern with the Z. We had a concern with the Z because it did not make sense for a Z to be so small while the other structures are this size. So that's why when it is playing out now and it was making this pullback here, we could see that this was gonna make a structure that was even more convincing for our analysis. Let me just uh, redraw that. Now, this is no longer gonna be just uh, like the way we, uh, a short Z like that. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, 
But now, a z is not only this wave. A z is this whole structure here. Now, this becomes our z. That's why I was we're looking for this to push higher to come and complete the z here. Now, you see here, you've got 1, 2, 3, w, 1, 2, 3, x, 1, 2, 3, y, 1, 2, 3, x, 1, 2, 3, z. Now, that concludes the whole structure, and it's a perfect w, x, y structure. When this is complete, we need to get a downside from there. You don't get anything after the Z. And this is a perfect structure, textbook structure. Let's watch how and see how this goes, right? It has broken, has it broken? Let's see if it has broken the law. We're checking this to see if this can be an expanding flat. This can actually be a regular flat because it just touched the low. So this one can just push slightly here and reverse. But let's see how it goes. Let's pound Audi. Uh, pound CAD has showed you last week that there is no such thing as a messy structure. If you watch last week's video, you'll see exactly that we said from here it's going to push up higher. Why? Because we simply looked at this. If you look at this here, it looks messy. But as soon as I put in my lines here, you can actually start seeing the waves clearly. And this is how this works. So you see here we've got a structure. Okay, from the structure you have another one, you've got a one, two, three there. From that structure, we looked at this as a three wave. From here, one, and this whole thing is a three wave structure. Two, and then we looked at this one here. So one, two, three there, one, two, three there, and another one, two, three there. So that's where from here, even though there was this big candle to the downside, we said it's gonna push higher. So candles don't mean anything. Structure is everything. So we're looking at this one, not a double A, but rather a W, X, Y. So we looked at this to push higher. So there's a likelihood now this starts pushing lower with all the other cat pace. Let's check, but the pound is strong. The cat is, uh, the cat is strong. So let's see, it's gonna be interesting to see which direction pound cat takes because there is now a strong cat and now there's a strong pound, right? It's gonna be interesting to see that. Right, uh, so that is uh, pound cat. I think that concludes all the pound pairs. Now we can look at the euros, starting with the euro pound, and that will conclude the pound against the euro. Uh, euro pound, it's exactly as forecasted. We looked for it to come down. Let me just see uh, what Jason is saying on uh, my wonder chart. There is a massive spike going up to two, which could be a Z. Doesn't show on all the charts on Pound Audi. Yes, we've noticed that one, uh, Jason. I don't know where that spike comes from. On uh, uh, what is that? It's Owen, Owen, Owenda. Okay. I don't know if we looked it, at it during the weekly webinar or the daily webinar, but I'll, I'll check again just to show other members on Pound Audi. Maybe let's do that now. Okay, there is a spike here on uh, Pound Audi, but only on this broker, not on, not everywhere. So let's just show you quickly. Uh, GBP Audi, you don't find it on all the brokers. It's only on one specific a uh, broker, I don't know if it's only one or the other brokers who have that spike, GBP Audi, let's look for it. Oh yeah, we checked it in the group. Okay, so here is Pound Audi, there is a spike. I don't think this spike is valid because you only find it on this broker. So if you're using TradingView and you're using Oanda, uh, you'll see that there is this big spike. I don't think this 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 is this is valid. Okay, so that is the spike. It's not on any other platform except for this one. Okay, I don't know what they were doing there. And if anybody's using that and they've lost money, you need to go get your money back. Right, uh, let's carry on with uh, the rest of the pound pass. Uh, Euro now, Euro pound. Euro pound. Right, Euro pound, exactly as forecasted. You can see the number is still there. We're still looking for this one to come down to a Y. 
So with the pound still continuing to the upside, I, I think we're gonna get a corrective structure before we get all the way down here first, because the structure that you're looking for here is a W, is a X, is a Y. Okay, so let's see. It's simple, you just look for continuation until that sequence is complete. Uh, that's Euro, Pound, let's look at the rest. Euro, Audi. Euro Audi. Now Euro Audi, I'm gonna to go to the four hour. The so Euro Audi last week, we expected this one. Uh, what did we say? We said this one could keep crawling to the downside. Right, so now, what is the structure that we're getting here? You've got a move here, you've got a corrective structure, you've got another move here, you've got another corrective structure. So you could be getting another last one to the downside, which makes this one a W, X, Y, X, because they're all in the same degree, uh, Z. Last one is the A, Z. So that's why we're currently looking for downsides. Tricky because all the other Europe, uh, uh, Euro, US dollar is now looking upside. Uh, but now Euro is looking downside. That's because of the strong Audi in the next coming sessions. We've already broken out of this structure. So we're looking for this Euro Audi to come make the Z. Expect divergence when the Z is forming so that when this structure is complete, you get a move back up. Okay. Uh, Euro Audi. Euro New Zealand. So Euro New Zealand also, one, two, we're looking for this one to keep crawling here. Give us this corrective structure before any reversal. Okay. Uh, Euro CAD. Euro CAD, if you look on the higher degree, you'll find there's an interesting structure I think I spoke about this one is last week, that this looks now to have made a one and this expanding flat there. And now we're looking for this downside. A correction here will break this to the downside. That correction is still in play over there. Let me switch off here so it doesn't get, this correction here is still in play. Let's check it for our, Check it in the four hour. That correction is still playing out. So we said, if this drops from there, then this will go all the way. So that corrected here on the trend line. So this may not be complete yet. Can still come do that, come do that. Now, if it does that, then I'll be convinced that we're gonna drop from there. For now, you don't do anything with this structure. Alternatively, this is the four hour goal. Look on the one hour because the CAD now is strong. The CAD is strong, so what you want to do here is, you can look at this as a trade. Uh, let's do this. You can take a chance. So if you take this chance, you may be re rewarded. So you can look at this as a flag, enter here, push your stop there, and see if you can write this one down. Because the CAD is strong in the next coming sessions, uh, Euro CAD may also just drop. Keep an eye. Move your stop to break even when you get to that level. All right, that's a uh, Euro CAD, Euro Chief. Very interesting structure there on Euro Chief. Here is the structure. Perfect structure. Let's start it with the in the lower time frame. Or rather, let's start in the, the higher time frame. Now, because also the euro is looking upside, last week I said that this is gonna do this. I simply drew the lines here. I'm sure most, because I went just, I just rushed through it, will not have taken this one uh, into consideration or seriously, but this is the structure that you're looking for. This 
flat correction. Now, how do you trade it? Becomes easy. Now, you've got a structure here, you've got a corrective structure, but it's in the higher degree. Let's look at it in the lower degree and see how you can benefit from it. For our, that very same upside, you've got a three wave move up. You've got one, two, three up. You've got one, two, You've got one, two, three back, regular flat. You've got a passing move. Now, if you get a corrective structure here, it may be the same size as this one. When you get a corrective structure here, take it up. The euro is looking strong for the next coming sessions. Take this one up. It may go all the way to retest the previous eye or just make a three wave, a three wave pullback like this. But either way, you're gonna get this very nice trade here. Let's check something here. Uh, guys, I just need to do something quickly. I will just pause the screen sharing for two seconds. I'm still here. I just wanna do something quickly. Something that I can only do with the members in the group that I can't show you here. Uh, sorry guys, uh, just now, just now, just now, we'll be done now. Unfortunately, I can't show it here. There we go, so let's resume the sharing. Can you all now see my screen? All right. There we go. So now, let's check something here. Right. So this is, this can be one of those guaranteed trades that goes all the way up into this area first. Okay. For now, just look for this to correct here. So this is in one of those almost guaranteed to minimum get to this level. Minimum, this can get to this level. Hey, you saw that, Ari? <laughs> okay, so minimum, this is one of those almost guaranteed trades to this level. I don't know how many pips is that. It may be small, maybe not, maybe not that much, but let's just check but it is one of those almost guaranteed trades. It's 80 pips, but it's 80 guaranteed pips. Minimum to this level. Can go further, but we just want that 80 pips to this level. You need to get a corrective structure here first. All right, uh, that is a uh, Euro chief. I think that concludes all the Euro pairs. Let's look at some of the cross pairs here. Uh, before we look at the cross pass, let's start with oil. Before we forget, let's start with oil. So oil will keep pushing higher because of the cat. Could this be a running flat on oil? And then we're going to keep pushing higher. We made a five wave move up, running flat possibly, or then we're going to expect oil to keep pushing higher or make a diagonal here. Crawl slowly while your US like is dropping. Right, so let's look at the crosses. Finally, uh, look, finish with the crosses. Uh, we look at AudiCat. AudiCat, remember Elliott Wave in two seconds. If I have to teach you Elliott Wave in two seconds, this is what happens with the way, with the price. It, you get a move, you get a correction, and you get a pass every time. So all these structures, they work like that, but you need to understand where the sequence comes from. So simply here, you've got a pulse. You've got one, you've got two here. You need to understand the sequences, obviously. Now you're looking for this one. Correction, look for upside. That's Audi. New Zealand chief. Five wave moves up. At some point here, you need to get a correction. Okay, Audi Chief, 
install Audi. We're looking for connections on the Audi pest. You can see it has already confirmed. You can have this trade for upside. Confirmed. That's the trade. Cat chief. Confirmed. Going up. Pulse correction is going up. Right. And then Audi New Zealand. Audi New Zealand has made a deeper pullback, but we'll expect this. Uh, the thing here is the Audi is strong and looks like the New Zealand is also strong. So we've got this pullback here. Let's see here. We're going to have this correcting here for one more down before we start pushing higher. Or oh, this can be a corrective structure. It can go up with a corrective structure like that. Like that. So it's it has gone, it has corrected too deep for us to consider it this this to be a this is a single wave actually. This is a single wave. So it's it has gone a little bit too deep. Okay. So alternatively, what you could be looking at here is this as an expanding flat. And if this is an expanding flat, this can just take off from here. Okay. We need to watch what happens with the structure. You cannot do anything now. We're on the four hour. There is not a clear pulse. This can go for one more like that before it goes up. But so you cannot do anything here. Uh, you don't even have divergence as yet. So just, just watch that one and see how that plays out. All right, guys, that's all I had for you this week. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, so that next time you get a notification. Have a great weekend, guys. Thank you for joining me. Video will be uploaded on YouTube shortly. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Bye-bye.